How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you sequence one of Assassin's Creed Rogue. I'm also going to be giving you my thoughts. The end assassination's actually been cut out because the recording didn't work. That sometimes happens when I record from the PS3. But this is a pretty cool game to be fair. If you liked Black Flag, you're going to like this game. And I was a little bit worried that it was going to be a bit of an afterthought due to all of the importance that's being placed on Unity as the first next generation Assassin's Creed game. Luckily though, it does seem to be a fully fleshed out game and I'm already really enjoying it. I'm not going to be completing it until I'm completely finished with Unity because I don't want to just rush it for the sake of it. What's really cool about this game is that Adewale and Achilles are in it as well and also Haytham Kenway is going to be in it at some point. I guess he's going to be pretty young but it's going to bring an end to the Kenway trilogy and that's really awesome. I really love that storyline so I really want to know what happens. It does take me back being in the ships again it's really cool being able to shoot down icebergs and stuff. I'm looking forward to being able to see the polar bears and the penguins so that's going to be awesome as well. So wait for a few weeks and then I'll have a lot of Assassin's Creed Rogue content out for you guys. If you've got any questions, definitely let me know in the comments section below, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. I reach the end of the trail. The air is still, and I am a hunter. The hunt has led me to the forgotten edges of this world. Seasons pass, drawing me deeper into the darkness, where I have found the truth. That my redemption is found in ashes. That I must burn away the past to set things right. Stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me, nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Admit it, I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no, that was just luck. <laughs> I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Let's head back. Come on. Captain Deliver André and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting with smugglers would lead to no good? I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to tell you. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are. But this is business. It doesn't concern you, Shay.
Am I going too fast for you? I'm just keeping an eye on you, in case you fall down and hurt yourself. Let's not keep Chevalier waiting. I'm so sick of it. The space, the... Where the hell were you two? We were out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph, couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Capitaine Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Verandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? Sounds pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! Ugh. You irresponsible wretch. <laughs> <laughs> I will teach you some manners, boy. I will teach you some manners, boy. Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close. The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee. We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner. Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat your wounded. Take these. You'll need them. Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. Ready to teach them a lesson? They don't stand a chance. Where are That's your mates bad. now, you filth rat? before I We will find them and let Keep them Keep an eye on lads! The pals are still out there somewhere! Many thanks. I thought I'd be hanged. Happy hunting, lads! Better ablaze! Seek that French vessel! She's no match for you! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> I don't think you can escape us! I was saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Sheik. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, Shay. Go on. Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. They should prove a good crew. I'm not so certain about their captain, but next to me you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, we could use another vessel. 
even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? Hell is she? Your own pile of garbage, yes? Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons. She'll look as fine as anything on the... Begin, Captain. Indeed, mate. Oh, God, now. She's a mess, but she's still up now. And her name's the Morgan. Oh, God. That silly fairy queen who ruled Merlin, the wise? Oh, she's perfect for you, Shane. Oh, a ship. Sister. Shen, they will sink her! Let's put the Morrigan to the test, Captain Shay. Ready for battle, man. For sail! For sail! Fill the sails! Stop them, boy! Tearing her to pieces! Do something! Who's tops those gallants and royals? He's off the way! My ship! Reef the mains! Clear! She's breaking up! Hearty lads, Chevalier is pleased with us. Now you're ready to sail for the horn. We're all in go. Our boots and our clothes, boots are all in the storm. We're all again, fancy and What course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. You were just in an animus. Animus, yes? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You work for Abstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell? Your session triggered something bad and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever? Here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Now let's get out of here. Follow me. Double time. This chaos is absolutely your fault, in case you're wondering. Just like we practiced in our safety drills. Everything is gonna be okay, guys. What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Ms. LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hired to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Ms. Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out. So I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. 
Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. Melanie? The elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Damn, yes. I'll get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. Agent DeCosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shay Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. Wireless signal? Great. That means you can still access. Once you restore the server, I'll connect your Animus workstation back to Helix. In theory, if you align the beams to segments of the core, it should solve the problem. But here's where it gets tricky. You have to move the circles in such a way that each segment is powered by a beam. The keyword here is each. One beam and one beam only per core segment, okay? Once everything is lit up properly, the system will reboot. Got it? Give it a shot. Assassins would have you believe that Al Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed, and that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an apple of Eden. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader, a man who used his best assassin, Al Ta'ir ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. While it must be stated unequivocally that Al Mualim was not a Templar. It is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal, that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. Had Al-Mualim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. For if the so-called wise man of the mountain can see things from our point of view, surely the same can be said for other assassins. <laughs> it has been a long time. Achilles! Adewale, how go things in the West Indies? Very poorly, I'm afraid. Your countenance tells me we should discuss this. Come. Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. He's a slave who freed himself, and hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. That man's a living incarnation of the Creed. See? He join me for some practice. Soon. I've got uh, other business first. Shay, I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous gift. Thank you, Mentor. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templar as far as his coast, but I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Farewell, Adewale. Whoever controls the artifacts can access precursor sites of power. 
We must recover them, or none are safe. Where to? Whatever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. Plan or no plan, we choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the tongue in France. Ah, the cabbage farmer has returned. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our ally has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shea. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. If only the rules beef would realize the Templars were truly Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about Le Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So Liam, what could you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. I... I had the honor of working with him once. I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. It's much more than that. Adewale was already a legend before joining the Brotherhood. He was a pirate. The scourge of the West Indies. Rubbing elbows with the likes of Blackbeard, Woods Rogers and Calico Jack Rackham. She looks to be in trouble. That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea. Now let's not be too hasty. She's full of crown cargo. Take a look through your spyglass and see for yourself. Pretty sight. I say this is a good day to lighten King George's pockets. Be careful. A few shots should be enough to cripple her. Too much damage and she'll go down with all souls. And all spoils. We can board and lose her before the crew knows what to do. Get a move on. Damage taken here. Take Fire. 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 The The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. There's a harbour master stationed nearby. We'll spend our new wealth on a crew. Oh, I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Alswan McCandle is their mentor. He gathers many of his assassins from the balloons. 
Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? They are. A shame, though. They escaped terrible conditions only to be killed in that earthquake. But... Haiti's a French colony, no? Aye, it is. And here, the assassins are held in the But in Haiti, the French own the slaves who are set free by the assassins. Our struggle is beyond political borders, Shay. Anti cost you shouldn't be far. He was on course, Captain. Fire! Is this the place? I see nothing but fishermen and their gear. Aye, per se and fishing go hand in hand. But it will serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. Douse the mizzen top! Douse all sail! Let go of anchor! Better borrow some coin. Bartering with an empty purse won't get you very far. Wake up! Home! Get home! What do you be needing today then? Some bit of business, that. Indeed. Your chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. Ships ahoy! More fishermen from Perse. Enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats! You must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. These cowards must pay! And would you look at that? Standing right in our way, Tad. What say you? you? Sink every last one of them? For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Stranger things have happened. We're clear, Captain. Captain! <coughs> we have trouble on our tail! It's a gunboat! Royal Navy! We have help, Captain! <laughs> Fire! Flatten your souls! Here they come! Fire! That's the Royal Navy! Fire! Unfired, mate! Black crew! Across the island now. The 
your friend the spy be waiting for us? Yes. I hope Le Chasseur has more information about the manuscript. Maybe he'll have the hope to figure it out for us. Maybe I'm Emperor wrong. Obvious Caesar! Salt air, open skies. A man out on the ocean is as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? We're out here for a reason, Shay. Mind your duty. Well, what's the point of freedom if you cannot breathe deep and enjoy it? The Templars stick to this continent like tar. I don't feel liberated until we pry them off. Seems to me we should just talk to them like men instead of skulking around. And would you smile and wish them a good day as they lay their boot on your neck? Of course not. They're murdering bastards who want to control the world and everyone in it. Never forget. And we have nothing in common with that, of course. Briefing on top! Chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. Not much trouble, Captain Cormac. Those all but babes! Reef! We are on course for Dock a... Dock the ship here, Captain. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. Go on ahead, Shade. We will meet you at the fort. Take a look at this. I borrowed these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Were there no charts? No, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could ken Where's the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay. Let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks. The Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Ah, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. Ugh! <laughs> 
Well, if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington is running out of his. Red Bank in sight, sir. Good hunting ground. Some sort of cargo there, sir. Careful. That's quite a rough squall, Captain. We should be nearby, Captain. There. Aye. There she is. All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, a slave owner, a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Storm could be dangerous. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Enemy! We're clear, Captain. <laughs> Dash the royals and tops! Come on, sail! She'll take it! Block A, Captain. And this won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. Aye, Captain. Track that package and find Washington. Sub blockade. Captain's at sea! And remember what I said, Shay. Washington must die. Aye.
Now, what's this? A rifle. You there! Stay! Where you are? How can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Master Washington. This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him. Security is awfully tight. The captain told him to know. Who knows? All I've been told is that this is Lawrence Washington's residence. <laughs> he and half of the guests here tonight. I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. Are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. Ha ha ha! 